All right, Pistons fans, so on today's video, we need to talk about the Detroit Pistons. The season is finally over. Let's talk about it. So first, I want to say, first and foremost, I'm really grateful um, with this season with the Detroit Pistons in terms of my YouTube channel because, you know, before, let's take it back a little bit. Before the offseason and training camp, I was around 92 subscribers. And then once the training camp started and the offseason, all of that happened, my channel grew exponentially to 1K, and I'm very grateful for that. Now, I do know that it's not really that big of a number, 7 billion people in the world. I understand that, but for me personally, I'm really grateful for that, and I'm happy that after each Pistons game, I get to talk. Like, I get to talk about the Pistons, my favorite NBA team, with y'all in the comment section. Y'all like my videos. You, you hit me up on Instagram, Snapchat, giving me video ideas. So I'm just really grateful and happy that I got a little community over here. And I get to talk about my favorite NBA team, the Detroit Pistons. So I'm very thankful and happy with that and this season. But let's talk about a little bit of the game. So the Pistons played the Miami Heat. Now the Heat, shouts out to them. They're about to be in the NBA playoffs. Last year, went to the NBA championship. And this year, they weren't as good, but they're still a pretty decent team. So as far as this game goes, um, the Pistons and the Heat, actually, they sat out a lot of their players. The Pistons, Grant, No Plumlee, um, the Heat. They sat out Jimmy Buckets and other of their, you know, role players and starters. So this game, <laughs> take it with a grain of salt. But the Pistons lost this game. The Heat um, with their young guys, Precious Achua. Um, B -L -E, I know he's not a young guy, but Bielita, he played pretty well. And the Heat bench squad beat the Pistons tonight. So good for the Heat, you know, getting their young players some confidence, their bench players some confidence, heading into this playoffs against the Boston Celtics. So good for them. And as far as our Pistons go, this game, um, you know, not much from too many players. Josh Jackson played well. Sadiq Bey played well. And we took the L this game, but I'm happy because when I was looking after the game, I seen that we were still top three projected um, odds in terms of the first overall pick. So that's still a pretty good thing. And our young guys got to play. So now I want to talk about heading forward for the Detroit Pistons this offseason, what they need to do. And in terms of my channel, what I'm going to do for this offseason. So first, I'm going to go on me. Now, um, on this channel, y'all should still be seeing Pistons videos revolving the draft that's going to be coming up next month. The draft lottery, I mean, it's going to be coming up next month. We got free agency that's going to end up coming up. I'm going to be making videos on that. I'm going to be doing um, Pistons draft targets so we should get in the draft and the free agency. I know we don't got that much money to spend, but I'm going to be doing videos on who, you know, what the money we got, who we should be targeting, stuff like that. And then I'm going to be doing playoff videos on other teams that are in the playoffs, you know, previews, reviews of games that type of stuff and then also you know recently i've been watching a lot of ufc so you might see some ufc videos very very soon i've been watching a lot of baseball so y'all should be seeing those videos too when training camp comes around in the nfl y'all might be seeing that and i thought about doing an nhl video a few days ago when i was watching the capitals play the bruins but i thought people wouldn't really watch it so i was like you know what? i guess i'm not gonna do this video but I, I did watch the game and i did have a fun time so y'all might see some hockey videos you know if i you know if I feel like the views are gonna come and people are gonna watch. So in terms of my channel, y'all should be expecting a lot of content coming soon. Now, as far as the Pistons and what they need to do this all season, um, first off, we gotta see where we're gonna get in the draft. Are we gonna get number one, number two? Are we gonna fall back in the draft? Who knows? But I'm hoping that we either get number one or number two, K. Okay, Cunningham, Jalen Green, don't know. And then this free agency, I don't believe we're going to have that much money because I think we're still paying off Dwayne Dedman and Blake Griffin on, de on dead cap. So I think we're not going to be able to pick up anybody big in free agency. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we're going to be able to sign anyone on a big contract because we don't got that much money. And then on top of that, we paid Grant and we paid Mason Plum this, this previous offseason. But with the little money that we, that we will have this offseason, I'm hoping that we can pick up a decent player here and there, a shooter, because this year our shooting wasn't that good. So I'm hoping we can pick somebody like that up in the offseason. So all in all, man, I'm excited. I'm excited for this channel. I'm excited for the Pistons, other sports, you know, uh, content's going to be coming, y'all. So I can't wait to be putting out more videos. I'm, I'm just happy with this channel right now. And I'm happy with the Pistons. The future is bright. The young guys one year of Trey Weaver, and he completely changed this franchise around. So, so all is going good, man. So let me know how y'all feel in the comment section below. Tell me what videos y'all want me to do. Tell me how y'all think the Pistons are about to do this all season. Just chat with me in the comment section. So like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Thank y'all for 1K. I'm out.